What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, guys, you're back on some Fortnite talking about discussion. I've been wanting to talk about about if Fortnite should remove skill-based matchmaking. Uh, I want to talk about this specifically because of the fact that it's it's a big dilemma. I guess a big discussion that's been talked about for years now since you know chapter two. And, uh, I want to talk about it basically based off of the games I've been having recently when I've been playing Fortnite or just watching, I guess anyone play because, you know, they talk about it a lot too. So I want to talk about that and we're going to be having a double upload. <clears throat> we're going to have a double upload today, which we'll be discussing if Fortnite should bring back arenas and remove ranked or just kind of like update ranked i should say and today they have released uh, brought out the ang avatar battle pass which is sick dude i used to watch the show as a kid bro it's amazing i got all four elements okay um Which is good. Uh, I haven't seen the kid show. I'm actually been wanting to, you know, rewatch the show lately. Before they brought it into Fortnite, but I've never gotten to the chance. Like I haven't watched it since I was like, I was in like elementary school. Like I was when it first came out. I was like around like three or four. I'm pretty sure. Well, we're going to be here to talk about skill-based matchmaking while we play a ranked game. Both games will be ranked games. We're going to be doing this live instead of like a pre-recorded win and talking over. And that would be cool. Um, so if I don't rush a lot of fights in this, it's pretty much I kind of don't want to forget what I'm saying. And get in a fight and forget it. Kind of have a nice little passive game. I was gonna find a new location. I've been landing here, but it's like there's three chest spawns I know of, but usually only two spawn, and it's like loot's just not good. I just want to find a spot that's close to uh, the underground in Grim's Gaggle because of the spawn rate of wings. But like I said, we're going to talk about Skibus matchmaking. And I want to start off by when it was pretty much bring up brought in, which was around Chapter 1, Season 10. It wasn't like fully implemented, but they started, you know, bringing in a little bit more bots and people. were starting to go against kind of more of their skill level, but it didn't become an actual thing around ch until Chapter 2. It'd be crazy if I got the one right there. I'm guessing that is the new chest. They brought in all the elements. Bending. I want air bending, bro. It's such a great movement, bro. Earth bending is pretty much just defense. It's like the ice tree we got last time. But in chapter one, season ten, they implemented it uh, shortly, like just like slowly. But it didn't become like a big factor until like chapter two. And they were just testing some stuff out. 
Like Fortnite usually did back in chapter one. And so they're just full diving and like going full head dive right into just implementing it without really giving anyone's knowledge and if they like it or not. Like they used to. Like I remember back when they uh this shit can't one shot. I mean Okay, never mind. I will find the right gun for it. When they brought in the one shot uh mechanism where if you held down you your first shot will be like hundred percent accurate onto the guy instead of it being any bloom. I remember playing that test event and it was just to see if people liked it and we liked it so they implemented it. And they said so they what they did in chapter one was just implement things to see if, if it worked. And then people like it. Um, but then when chapter two came out, it became a full on fledged thing. So now you're playing people with your skill level, but people started to hate it because the, you know, they're going against a, a lot of bots. Uh, and it became a thing like except for PK at a lobby where like pretty much 50 to 90 percent of his lobby were bots. And that's just honestly, in my opinion, crazy to think of because, like, that is a lot of bots. Like, 10 people, like, 40 people were, you know, bots. And I think I saw a Lachlan video about this, why I wanted to talk about this, where he said it should be like 50-50 like or something like that. I don't know if anyone's on it, I don't really care. And, he, uh, I thought about it, like, oh, that's cool, but I just honestly want it removed immediately. Like, full-fledged removed, instead of, like, just, like, narrowing the bots. Because I've gone into games where I've had people having, like, 20 kills, 25 kills, and, and it being a solo game, and I haven't seen that in so long. And it's because everyone's really leaving either Fortnite as a whole or switching game modes to, like, either ranked or creative or the other shit that they add like like a Fortnite and shit and it's making you know games a little bit too easy and now i i don't mind easy wins and free wins that's not my issue my issue comes down to you know if i got chapter four season four i got some pretty good high kill one games i got uh, a 14 one, I got a 13 one. Um, I'm stealing somebody's just plugged up. Now that's what I want. But it didn't really mean anything. I was getting like these 20 kill games because I I was going against like a lot of bots, you know. And I want. I want. Uh, if I get these high kill games, I want most of them to be at least real life people because I'm like, it's boosting my confidence, which is great. I guess that's great in the long run, but it's like the exact same time. When, when I'm going to get to bot, I really don't have to try, and I usually don't. And then when I go to real player, I have to, of course, try. So it's like, the me figuring out, like, okay, is this a bot? Because they've improved bots to act like re somewhat real-life players with the way they build and shit. But it's like, 
Uh, you can shoot at a bar. <clears throat> Holy oh, shit. Oh, I don't fucking feel my mouth. Uh, you can shoot at a bot and they will build a wall and the stairs and, you know, God, there's a lot of earth bending. Make sure I'm tied in. Uh, it... I don't know, I just... I don't like going against people who are just strictly bots. Because when I, you see them build a wall, and they stare like, okay, might be real, but then they're walking away from it. And then you shoot at a real person, they build a wall, and they're and they build like 90s now. Right? So I just want them to get rid of the skill with matchmaking, because when it was set in, it was supposed to help the newer players get better because they're not having to go against the sweats. But in my opinion, what made me a great player, like I remember back in chapter one, I wanted to get better. No one on the outside, bro. You know what I want? I want a drum gun, bro. Room and oh, you come back. See what I'm talking about? This is a bot. I'm about to win. Okay. Um. When I got better in chapter one, season five, because I, I, I was sick and tired of losing. I really was. It was kind of frustrating for me because the fact that, you know, I was playing this game for almost like, at that point, a like, four seasons. I didn't play much of chapter one, season one. I played like three games to test it out, and I wasn't a fan. I got back into it around chapter one in season two. You saw the live streams. And me and James were bad. But it came to the point where I just kinda actually wanna get better. I wanted wins. I I'm going the opposite direction. That's what I'm doing. He's grabbing that long so that's what he's doing. So I'm gonna get around over here. Um So what I did was I went and searched up how to get better on YouTube. You know, I was listening to what these guys had to say. You know, the one thing was to practice your aim and this is before creative came out. So you know, pretty much it was just get better at aiming when you're playing in an actual game. But practice your tracking. There was this playground method that people were using. And... No, fuck this dude. Fuck it, snipe me, I'm out of here. I have not found another shit of... I'm 
Yeah, I know. Usually I'll be all for it, but dude, I need to find some actual shield. Wait, I wonder if it does everybody really actually just help in the air too. I wish it I've never thought about that. I just thought about that. But no, pretty much there's this tracking method in playground that you pretty much would have bouncers, you know, going back and forth, and you have an item on a platform or something, and you're just tracking it and trying to make sure your your hit fire tracking is on point. And for actual just aim in tracking you pretty much just try to, you know, aim at a shot every single time and just track it as it moves. Because we didn't have creative back then, right? So that's how we did it. And then pretty much the other thing was land tilted towers every game. As everyone knows, tilted towers used to be one of the biggest and pop, you know, popular landing spots. So pretty much you would want to work on how you to engage fights and brush every fight you got there to gain the confidence on rushing fights. I didn't even know that I had a bounty on me. Um... And I started doing that, and slowly but surely, you know. Honestly. I don't know, do I take? Get six minis. Six minutes, like 300 shields, pretty much. You know, 50, 50, 50, 50. I'm just gonna take this. No gravity would be good, but right now, I'm just. But slowly and surely, I was beginning to improve. And then when season six hit, I was rushing a lot of fights. I wasn't afraid. And so I started getting better. Season seven, we all know what happened. I lost my internet. That's when creative became a thing. And so people started making. Maps that could get people better. Started off with just, you know, editing and shit. And then they started bringing in like 1v1 maps and zone wars and box fights. But when Skip was matchmaker was there, they weren't really taking the shots on trying to do that. So they just made it easier for people with that were bad to play with bad people. And then people who are good goes against good and great goes against great. So great in my opinion are kind of like pros, people who just are really competitive and are great at everything. But now, with the amount of boss that we've been getting, I feel like they gotta remove it because the fact that a lot of people are switching. So it, the only way that I feel like people are gonna get better is by going someone against someone who's better than them. Because one way or another, they're gonna, they're gonna go against those people. That's how I see it. I didn't think I was going to take full damage there. I don't know where I'm going to make it somewhere.
Like, that's the only way I feel like someone... They're gonna get better. Because the fact that... If they learn how to engage these people and how to adapt and use creative to their shits, like... Come, take it for someone who doesn't really use creative. It's not that I don't want to, it's like... With someone who... I work, right? I have a part-time job. Well, it's not really... Eh, it's pretty time part-time. You know, I don't have the time to, to come and play on the days that I work. So I usually don't. I wait for the days that I'm off. You know? Doesn't mean I don't want to work. It kind of just means, like... Can I, can I do this on water? Oh my god, oh my god, I can fucking do this on water? Holy shit, this is moving on water. Holy shit, this is go to movement. Holy shit, that's go to movement. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just my come from me. Like I said, I have a part-time job and I can't really, you know. You know what, dude, you're gonna have to come to me anyways. I'm gonna go get peak circle, bro. I'm gonna get up on top of you, bro. And have fun. Missed. Fuck. But no, I feel like they should get rid of Scobie's matchmaking for that reason is just we're getting way too much bots and I feel like they're gonna have to learn any other way. And I feel like the other way is better. Like if you if you put in the time and you improve and you actually learn from your mistakes, you're gonna get better. That's how the best players get better. They don't just get better because the fact that they had to go against people that they were Cause they're going against someone who Oh, he's getting perfect zone, bro. He's got great shit. I don't know what the sec guy is. It's most likely a bot. No, it's right over there. Honestly, the best thing for me to do. I was gonna say, dude. a lot of mats but no like i don't know i got better 
in a way, and then, and then I got better in season, chapter 4, season 4. Okay, this other guy is somewhere. This is not what I like though. He's not fo trying to focus on the other guy because the other guy's not trying to show his face, dude. Okay. I just lost the fight. I don't match. Is that the score? That's how you win games, boys! Let's fucking go! Alright! What a way to end off this video. Like I said, to end this off, they should remove skill with matchmaking because there's way too many bots. Chapter 14 and 4, I got high kill games because of how many bots were in the game. A lot of my games lately have been easy wins because of the fact that no one's playing the game. Okay? I've had a lot of squad wins because no one's playing. I've had some solo wins because no one's playing. Right? Skillless match anchoring was brought in to help the new players. But lately it's you know, there's no players in here that are good because they're just either playing ranked, they're not playing Fortnite in general, or they're playing creative. Okay. So my thing that they should remove skillless matchmaking and just have players that want to get better, search up tutorials, find a way on YouTube or Use creative and use your in-ring, like your in-game capability of learning your mistakes. What went wrong after that loss? What what could you do better? That's how I did it. And that's how I got better. Right. You're when you're at the top, you're always still looking to become better. Think about this: you're not going to be like Mongrel and all of them because of the fact that they do play on keyboard and they play on PC. So for console players, you would have to really make the switch to do that. Or, you know, whenever Fortnite decides to bring in 120 FPS, for God fucking sakes, you get a TV or a monitor that gets that, gets you that, and you'll be fine. Okay. Uh, next next video I'll be releasing, which will be the same day today. We're doing should Fortnite remove ranked and bring back the right now. So if you guys do drop. If you guys do enjoy, subscribe and drop a like, comment down below, guys, if you guys think the same way that I think, and Fortnite should remove Swiss matchmaking, or tell me why they should keep it. See you guys all later.